dear listeners uh, our today's topic is about data flow testing uh, data flow testing is actually all about data that we use in our program uh, in our program the data is basically the variables that we define like x is a variable of type integer or the objects like this object is a is an object of the class my class so in data flow testing we analyze these variables and we analyze that where we define these variables and where we use them or finally where we kill these variables uh, in data flow testing uh, so this is uh, data flow testing and why do we use data flow testing it is very important because uh, by using data flow testing we uh, figure out or we identify many logical bugs that can go uh, hidden if we do not uh, uh, follow the steps of data flow testing like in this uh, small program there is a logical mistake and that mistake will be easily identified by data flow testing uh, you are a programmer you can identify that uh, mistake uh, here we are comparing the variable x with thousand but we know that the variable x was not defined or initialized with some content so this is a logical mistake the at this point the variable x has some garbage value and we are comparing that garbage value with this this amount that is the thousand so this type of logical bugs are easily identified by data flow testing in data flow testing we have uh, some basic uh, terms that we use and those are the first term is definition uh, definition in data flow testing is actually when we initialize a variable with some content it's called a definition like when uh, here we are uh, defining the variable x and we are initializing it with the value 101 similarly if I write x is equal to x plus 100 it's again a definition because I am replacing the initial contents of x with these these new contents so definition in the perspective of data flow testing is actually when we replace the contents of a variable with some new value it's called definition uh, you can uh, conceive the variable like a container that contains some content and whenever we replace that content with new content it is called a definition and the use the term of the ter term used in double testing is has two types the, the first one is predicate use or p use and the second one is computation use or c use p use is actually the usage of the variable in predicate logic like if else condition where we compare uh, the value of the variable with some other value by using the comparative operators like here we are comparing x with thousand and this is actually a predicate logic so it is called p use and when we use the uh, contents of a variable in some computation it is called computation computation use or c use like here we are using the contents of x in the computation of x plus 100 and similarly uh, when we print something it is also called c use and the last term that we use in interval testing is killing from killing we mean when we destroy a variable the variable uh, is destroyed automatically sometimes and sometimes we do it manually uh, if we define the variable on stack like here x is defined on the stack it is automatically killed or destroyed when we go out of the scope of that variable uh, on the other hand if we define the variable on on heap we have to do, delete it manually with the operator delete operator so uh, the memory management is a totally a separate topic so we will discuss it in detail in that topic 
and right now we are discussing data for testing so right now you can just understand that killing by killing we mean destroying the contents of a variable and while using data flow testing we uh, we face some anomalies or some bugs that 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 actually we try to identify and these anomalies are uh, the source of uh, errors that are caused are uh, that are um, found in the software due to uh, in improper or incorrect flow of data so these anomalies are listed below uh, this tilde operator actually shows that this is the first appearance of the variable so tilde u means if the first appearance of variable was as use like we didn't define the variable but we are using it so suppose if we comment this part of the program like here if if it, it was defined we, we had defined it and we, we commented this part so the first appearance of the variable is here and here we are using it in a predicate logic so we are using it without defining it it is a it is an anomaly so it is a logical bug similarly it is the if the first appearance of a variable is as a kill it is also a bug because we neither, neither defined the variable nor, nor we used it but we are killing it so definitely it is a bug define and define so the if we define the variable and we do not use it and then again we define it it is also a logical mistake like here if you define it again x is equal to 181 this new value of x will be used like I have but this previous value will not be used so what is the usage of defining this the variable here so defining a variable two times is a bug and uh, then define followed by kill so if we define a variable and then we kill the variable without using it it is also a bug and kill followed by a kill it means we are killing a variable and then we are again killing the same variable that is you can say something like over killing and you know uh, over killing is uh, doesn't have any sense because you can conceive variables as humans and you know once a human is killed we do not need to kill it again similarly uh, if a variable is killed there is no need to kill it again it's like over killing so it is a logical bug and after and then kill followed by use like you have killed a variable and, and then you are trying to use its contents that is a logical bug you cannot do that sometimes it happens that when we define the variable uh, on the heap and we, we we delete the content of the variable but the pointer of that is pointing to that content uh, is still in the scope and we try to use that pointer and we face a runtime error so using uh, a variable after we have killed it is a logical bug and defining last it means you are uh, defining the variable at, at the last of the program where we are not going to use it and so it is again a logical mistake so these are some anomalies but to better understand uh, the data flow testing we need to go through a, a proper example so to uh, watch that example you have to watch the next video thank you